Hey guys, this is Steve with Tronics Fix, and today we're going to be testing Conducto Knot by Thermal Grizzly. It's a liquid metal thermal paste. We're going to be testing it on our PS4 Pro, but the first thing we need to do is get a baseline temperature on the PS4 Pro. So we're going to be playing Horizon Zero Dawn for about an hour or so just to get a baseline temperature, and then we will replace the thermal paste, and then we'll test it for another hour, and we'll compare the temperatures. So I'm going to get playing the game. See you in about an hour. So we've been playing for an hour and 11 minutes or so, and we have a temperature of 131 degrees Fahrenheit and 55 degrees Celsius. So now that we've played for about an hour or so, we're going to disassemble the PS4 Pro, install the liquid metal, and then play again for another hour and see if the temperature is lower. So let's get it taken apart so we can install the new thermal paste. So here we have our thermal grizzly conductor knot liquid metal thermal paste. This will be linked in the description below so you can purchase some yourself if you would like that. Now we got to take a look at the instructions, make sure we do it to their specification, and then we'll get it put back together. Step number one, clean the surface. They include two alcohol prep pads that can contain 70% isopropyl alcohol, so we will use one of those now. Unless yours is extremely dirty, I see no reason to use both of them as the as both surfaces need to be completely dry. I'm actually going to use a cotton swab to get the surfaces completely dry. There was a lot of liquid in those. So we're going to make sure these are completely dry. Now we have a dry heat sink and a dry APU, so we can proceed with applying the thermal paste. So for step number two, we need to screw the supplied micro tip onto the syringe, carefully apply a pinhead sized drop of conductor knot on the CPU and heat sink. So for step number two, we need to screw the supplied micro tip onto the syringe, carefully apply a pinhead sized drop of conductor knot on the CPU and heat sink. So we will screw the syringe tip onto the syringe, just like that. Now the instructions say to spread the conductor out on both surfaces with the supplied cotton swabs. I have no supplied cotton swabs. There was none in the package. You guys saw everything that came out of the package. And I'm not sure why you would use a cotton swab to spread the thermal paste as cotton swabs can sometimes leave little fibers. So maybe they have special ones, I don't know, but I'm not gonna actually spread it with that. I'm gonna install a, whoa, that comes out very quickly. I'm gonna spread, a, I'm gonna install just a little bit, a little pinhead size drop on each surface if I can just like that. Now we did get a little bit too much on that part, I would say. So 
I'm going to unscrew the tip and then I'm going to screw the other tip on. Now this one has a small hole in it, so theoretically we should be able to suck some of it back up. Let's give it a try. There we go. And I would say that's probably about the right amount and that's probably about the right amount. Now that being said, this is my first time applying this liquid metal, so don't take my word for some of these things as this is the first time. I'm just doing what they tell me to do in the instructions. Now we're going to put the cap back on this. So I'm gonna use a little plastic pry tool just to spread this out a little bit. This is very awkward to do. I've never used anything like this as I said, so it's very strange spreading this like this. Now one thing to keep in mind with liquid metal is that you need to make sure that it does not touch any of the components around the chip right here as this is very conductive and electrically conductive as well as thermally conductive. So you need to make sure that it doesn't touch anything. Unlike things like Arctic Silver 5 or the factory thermal paste, it doesn't matter if it squishes out all along here. So that's one thing to always remember is make sure and, and not over apply the liquid metal as it can squish out and cause problems with these components. So we're gonna install this back together and we're gonna see what it does. Now our motherboard is back installed with the liquid metal for the thermal paste. Now it's time to play it again for another hour and see what the temperatures are. So I've been playing for about an hour and 13 minutes or so and we have a temperature of 120 degrees Fahrenheit and 49 degrees Celsius. And that is with the liquid metal thermal compound installed. So this shows that the liquid metal reduces the temperature on the PS4 Pro by about 10 degrees Fahrenheit and about six degrees Celsius. Now I do see while I'm talking here, it has gone up to 121. And while I was playing, I did also notice the temperature go up to about 120 degrees Fahrenheit. I also did notice the fan did get somewhat loud. It didn't get as loud as I've heard it, but it still did get loud. So this uh, particular thermal compound doesn't necessarily keep the fan super quiet all the time, but it does seem to keep it quieter and it obviously keeps the temperature lower on the PS4 Pro. Now just based on this one test, it does seem that the thermal grizzly conductor knot does work very well for the PS4 Pro on intense games using 4K and HDR. So I can recommend it to keep your game console cooler. Now please keep in mind that this is just based on one small test for about an hour or so. So you may see different results over longer periods of time. Theoretically, the liquid metal will stay liquid and will never dry out on your game console and should last the life of the console fairly easily. But that being said, I haven't actually tested it for very long, so I can't say for sure. Thanks for watching this video about the PS4 Pro and liquid metal thermal paste. Once again, if you need to buy this for yourself, you can get, get that from the link in the description below. I'll be hanging out in the comment section for a bit after this video goes live so you can ask me any questions you have about it. Also, let me know if there's any other videos you want to see, and thanks so much for watching.